The recession just hit realtors across America, something that could cause hundreds of thousands of realtors to quit over the next several years. Because realtors just reached a settlement that will fundamentally change how Americans buy and sell homes. This groundbreaking $420 million legal agreement could drive down commission rates and shrink the number of real estate agents. And folks, this is something that could be a game changer for how the housing market works. This settlement from the National Association of Realtors is likely to drive down commissions and fees for buyers and sellers, which will save all of you money in the long term and actually could result in cheaper home prices and more listings. At the same time, this settlement is a nightmare for many realtors across America because it means that their commissions could get cut by as much as 30%. Let me show you guys right now how realtors make their money. So in the top box here, we're looking at realtor commissions in America today, with the median sale price of a house in America being 379,000. Well, today, realtors get about a 5.5% commission on that sale split between the buyer's and seller's agent, which is $21,000 going into realtors' pockets on the typical home sale today. However, in the future, what is likely to happen due to this legal settlement is that this commission will go down to 4% approximately. There's varying estimates of how low it will go, but I've seen 4% thrown out there pretty commonly, which would drive down the realtor commission to $15,200, almost a 30% reduction from what it is right now. And ultimately, that's a pretty good savings for home buyers and sellers. It's almost $6,000 on the typical home that will stay in the pocket of home buyers and sellers rather than being paid to realtors. And the fundamental way that this change is happening, everyone, is due to the elimination of the requirement of a buyer broker fee. With the National Association of Realtors agreeing to abandon long-standing industry rules that have required most home sale listings to include an upfront offer telling buyer's agents how much they will get paid. Under this system, which was in place for generations, sellers have typically set the buyer's agent fees. So that's right, everyone, think about this. Under the old system, if you're gonna sell your house, you and your selling agent set the fee that the buyer's agent would get, which is kind of a crazy system because the buyer and the buyer's agent don't even know you at this point. Like, how would you know how much the buyer's agent should get for the services that they're providing the buyer? Well, no longer is that system in place. Instead, buyers will negotiate with buyer's agents one-on-one -on -one to determine how much of a fee they should get. And ultimately, this is gonna drive down the realtor fees in America closer to where they are in the rest of the world. With data from the Wall Street Journal showing that on average in the US, realtors get 5.5% for a transaction, which is the third highest realtor fee in the world after Japan and Argentina, which are around 6%. If you see most other countries like France, Germany, Russia, China, Australia, the Netherlands, and the UK, their realtor fees are much lower. In fact, in the UK, the average realtor fee is only 1.3%. And as a result of the fact that realtors in America got higher fees, you could see that the number of real estate agents in the US was way higher than other countries. In America, there was approximately 1.6, 1.5 million realtors that compares to 160,000 in Canada, 48,000 in the UK, 35,000 in Australia. And this is where the numbers start to look discouraging for um, realtors in America. And if you are a realtor out there, I'm not trying to be doom and gloom here. I'm actually gonna give you some uh, positive takeaways from this at the end, some ways that maybe you could use this to improve your business. But first, folks, we need to dig into the numbers here so you guys can understand how much money realtors make and how much they're likely to make into the future. Because this is a really important um, thing to understand. Like if you are a realtor, if you're thinking of becoming a realtor, if you're someone just in the housing market who wants to understand this more generally, you know, I was shocked at actually how little money realtors make, even under the current rules, and how little money they're gonna make in the future under the new rules. You can see on this chart, we're looking at the average annual commissions for realtors in America going back to 1999. This is data that comes from the National Association of Realtors. I'm taking their existing home sale and median sale price data and simply dividing it by the number of realtors in America. And what you see is that in 2024, before this ruling goes into effect, the average realtor earns $55,000 in commissions per year which is down significantly from the pandemic peak. In 2020, 2021, 2022, realtors were making on average 80,000 in commissions. Now that's already been cut 
by 30 percent. It was one of the reasons why I was already predicting that realtors were going to quit. And you can see this current level of earnings. I mean, it's even below where it was in 2015. It's below where it was in 2000, 2001 in nominal terms. So realtors were already really struggling uh, in America before this ruling due to the low buyer demand in the market. You know, the home sales, the transactions, they've collapsed. So the average realtor in America is only selling, get this folks, 2.6 homes per year right now. So if you're only selling 2.6 homes and the average commission right now is $21,000, that's how you get to 54,000 in total commissions. Now, of course, there's huge variation across the realtor spectrum in terms of these earnings. You know, some realtors, they're part-time, they barely even focus on it, and maybe they earn 10 or $20,000 a year. They just sell a couple houses or they have the license for themselves. Meanwhile, there's other realtors who are like power realtors who dominate the market and they'll sell 20, 30 homes a year and they'll make millions of dollars. So, you know, there's a huge spectrum in terms of realtor performance, but really, you know, the median, the average realtor is kind of struggling to get by already in this market. And they're going to struggle even more after this ruling. If the realtor fees go down from five and a half to 4%, we're likely to see the average commissions per realtor go from 55,000 to 40,000. So this is what the blue line is showing, is what the commissions would be at the lower commission rates that some people are projecting. Uh, if the commissions go down to 4% from 5.5%, this blue line would be the new realtor earnings, and you can see it's much, much lower. And so ultimately, like, what's gonna happen here, everyone? I mean, how many realtors are gonna quit? And when they do, what's the shakeout gonna be in the housing market? And this is where things start to get interesting. You know, I've been looking at a lot of different reporting here on the ramifications uh, of this new settlement. If it's approved, it still needs to be approved by the U.S. courts, but it seems like it might be. And if it does, it'll go into effect in July 2024. So we could see this happen just in the next three or four months. This could go live. And if it does, I think we're going to see the, the quitting in the realtor industry accelerate. We're already down about 110,000 realtors from peak. I suspect and this is my speculation, everyone. This isn't you know, a fact. This is just a projection. I suspect we could see as many as 400,000 to 500,000 realtors quit. And if we do, it would bring the number of realtors in America down from around 1.5 million to around 1 million, which interestingly, that was more or less the reduction we saw in the last housing downturn. You can see the peak of the previous bubble in 06, 07, when the number of realtors got up to 1.4 million. Then that went down to about 963,000 uh, in 2013 at the bottom of the last crash. And it's since spiked up again and has now started to go down. It's interesting how kind of the surge in realtors kind of corresponds with the housing bubble and home prices. You could actually probably view this as somewhat of a leading indicator of the downturn in the market. But I wouldn't be surprised if we end up hitting this 1 million realtor mark. But now what about like the real world ramifications for you as a home buyer or investor out there? Like, What's going to happen for you? Like, obviously, realtors quitting is kind of an interesting thing to speculate about. It's going to change how the market works a little bit. It's going to mean less kind of like FOMO, Instagram reels, and YouTube videos from realtors trying to hype you up to buy into the market. However, is there going to be a practical implication on the housing market? Well, I think there's going to be a couple. Number one, I think it's going to lower home prices. Home prices are likely to drop by 1% to 2% with the realtor fees going down by one to 2% because lower realtor fees creates less of a hurdle for home sellers to achieve a break even or a profit on their resale. So don't be surprised if there's a moderate reduction in home prices by a couple percentage points due to lower realtor fees coming from this settlement. However, the other thing that no one is really talking about right now that I think is really interesting is I think we could see a lot of new listings hit the market due to um, this situation with realtors because lots of realtors own houses and investment properties, everyone. I mean, this is something I've noticed more and more in my travels across America when I go to different housing markets and open houses. I'm shocked at the amount of times I go into the open house and I see that the house is being sold by the realtor, uh, often in some type of investment capacity. It's a flip. Maybe it is their house that they live in, particularly in Arizona. I remember I was in Phoenix three or four months ago, and the number of signs that actually said for sale by realtor uh, was shocking to me. And so I wouldn't be surprised if we actually see more listings come out of the woodwork 
from realtors who own houses who uh, are looking to liquidate some of their houses and convert their house equity into cash equity due to the fact that their commissions will likely go down anywhere from 20 to 30%. Now, is there any way, uh, if you're a realtor out there, that you can strategize and use this to your advantage? Well, I think the biggest thing realtors uh, gotta focus on out there is providing value to their clients. Actually adding value to home buyers and sellers search rather than just sitting there and collecting a fee. Because I think one thing that happened during the pandemic, and you guys can let me know if you agree with this, is that many realtors became lazy during the pandemic. You know, there were some really good times in 2020, 2021, first half of 2022. And if you were a realtor, you really didn't really have to do too much, especially if you were in one of those big boomtown housing markets in the Sun Belt. And I think that environment drew some new realtors into the market who maybe were expecting a quick fix. But now is not the time to be complacent if you're a realtor. You gotta really focus on adding value to your client who, if it's someone looking to buy a home, it's being their advocate, it's negotiating for them, it's helping them see listings that they wouldn't normally find on their own. If you're a selling agent, that involves showing the house as well, running a good open house. And I think realtors that really focus on providing value could be successful even through this environment because at some point, when enough realtors quit, that will start to increase the earnings of realtors once again. Once we see the number of realtors drop by 20 or 30%, that will then allow the amount of commissions out there to be spread among fewer realtors and increase the average earnings. And I laid out a couple different scenarios here just so you guys can understand what I'm talking about. The first is what the pandemic peak for realtors look like in terms of the realtor count, the number of home sales, what sales prices were, and ultimately what the commissions were per realtor. So in the peak of the pandemic, we were around 85,000 in commissions for the average realtor. Today, we're 54,000. And in this lower commission scenario that we're talking about today, we'll be at 39,000, which is gonna cause lots of realtors to quit. However, I want you guys to take a look at this last chart, which is the alternative future scenario, which has some hypothetical assumptions here. One is that, you know, say in the next two to three years, we have this housing downturn, 30% uh, of realtors quit, bringing the total number of realtors to 1 million. At the same time, home sales rebound by 25% because there's an improvement in buyer demand caused in large part by 15% reduction in prices and potentially lower mortgage rates. Well, in this hypothetical environment, even at a 4% commission, the average realtor in America gets $60,000, which is more than they make today. So there is potentially light at the end of the tunnel for realtors in America. It's just gonna involve some big adjustments in the meantime. And I wanna hear what you guys think about this realtor crisis, the cut in commissions, uh, all these realtors potentially quitting. What do you guys think about this if you're a home buyer and investor? And uh, what do you think about it if you're a realtor? If you're a realtor out there who watches my videos, I wanna hear you in the comment section below. What are you seeing in the market? What are you feeling with this new ruling? Are you gonna stay being a realtor or are you gonna consider doing something else? We wanna hear your feedback in the comment section below.